too high up in it. That's better. What's going on, Trips? Welcome back to the Leeds United career mode. After a dodgy last episode, uh, what did we play? Four games. Started off brilliantly, beating Newcastle 3 0, and then put out the FA Cup to Man United, and then losing to Villa, and then beating Everton just. just. So now we're at the end of February, going into March, We've got Man United at home and Tottenham both at home. And then we're away to Leicester and home to Norwich. So three home games. So you'd think we could pull some points out of this. But uh, I'll have to wait and see if we can. But after the last episode, I wouldn't even be surprised if we get nothing out of this. But I've been wrong before. So we're about 12 or 13 games or so left of the season. Uh Two seconds, I'll just try to set it up. So, aye, about 12 or so games left of the season. Not many, we've got March, April, a couple, of, a couple of difficult games. And we finish against Brentford away uh, at the end of May. In seventh, which I think is Conference League, but I'm not 100% sure. So we want to get pushing on to Europa League spot. There's no hope in hell we're going to get a a Champions League spot. I think I might actually start Gilhart uh, and Dan James. Start Dan James over Harrison against his former team. Last time we played Man United, we, I think Firpo was actually back because he got suspended. Is he back? He is, so we can put him in there and on for Shackleton. So probably the same lineup we faced against Man United in the FA Cup. So it's gonna be tough. But let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get three points against Man United and Spurs, which is what I want. Because the other the other teams I feel like I can hold on to to get points to take points off the other teams. Like lower teams like Norwich and Palace and that so on. This is the team so we need this is the team from which we need to be taking points from. Kill Hart under a lot of attention. Zafina is offside. I wonder if I need to make my camera smaller. I don't know, I, I made it slightly bigger. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it would be a good idea, but it seems to be taking up a lot of the screen. To the point where I can't see advantages and Whatever else is happening. Oh, they're just ripping the absolute piss out of me here. Ronaldo. Fernandez went for it. He's going to let it off and shoot. Lorente. Ronaldo. Fernandez is going to shoot again, but it's Lorente again. At least. Uh oh. Fucking knew that was going to happen. Fernandez had three shots in the last 30 seconds, and two, one of them's gone in. Well, anyway, I don't know why I didn't clear that, to be fair. I did try to go round Sancho, so I had a plenty of space to clear it, when realistically I should have just booted that away as soon as I got the chance. But look at that, man. How has he curled that past him? He's only scored five goals in 23 games. Fuck me. We were 1 0 down early on, very early on, at Ellen Road, Rafinha. What a run that is. Paulinho, our new number seven. John James. Gail Hartson! Oh! Somehow beat Maguire to the header. But, can't get it on target. Can we get a league double over Man United? John James looks over the top for Gail Hart again, but too close to the hair and saying Jaden Sancho has just come back from injury I wonder how long he was out for but we seem to be winning most headers in the middle of the park which is good I think it's one touch passing to through my head and I can't get near the ball fearful ahead of Berardi dodgy passing Look at that ball from Paulinho, look at Don James just sending it through Gellhart, Eric Bailly reads exactly what was about to happen. 
an interception. What a bit of play that was, what a ball it was from Paulinho out to Dan James. Paulinho again. Oh, nearly finding Rodrigo there on the right hand side. Look at the space berardi has been given here. But anyway, brilliant tackle though. Right, Man United are on an absolute mission not to be dropping points. I don't know where they are on the table. I think they're just ahead of us. They're not my man. They're not far ahead of us. But they don't want to be dropping points. I think they're, they'll be watching Champions League football. Oh God! I need to get away here. John James, the only player on the park that can't be out down and spinning. Oh, Plays it over the top for Polino, but he puts it out. How does he manage to put that out for a throw in? No, I was going to put that to the guard I guarantee it. Hold you. Brilliant again from Lorente, solid. The alien. Look at Rafinha. Are you f Are you joking me? Oh my god, somebody has to get through the back of Maguire now. That is absolutely disgusting. How is that not a foul? Just playing a perfect ball through for Rafinha to run onto and get a one on one. And Hardy Maguire takes him out. And De Gea then just collects it. That is outrageous! Right, counter is needed. Good work. John James. Squeeze it past the hair and saved it. But not cleared away very well. Paulinho, oh, a wee bit more height on that, could have been a goal. The one touch passing thing, oh, it's just disgusting, the overpowered. It's outrageously overpowered. Close to half time. Rodrigo. Fuck. Me. That's a great ball from Ronaldo. Berardi's running at the back post. Right, this is where we need a goal. Gellar is must be getting away from Maguire. He must be getting through one on one. Yes! Joe Gellar! Two or three minutes before half time. Makes it 1 1. No mistake made in starting the youngster. And we have got a valuable goal to take into the second half. There's no way Harry Maguire was catching him. If he did, then questions would have to be asked. Curls around the here off the post and in. I did think it was going to go wide, to be fair. Five goals and 17 for the young striker. And right before half time, we have a well merited goal, in which we will have to hold on to it and we need to add to it if we have any hopes of this. Taking any kind of points in this game, Ailing is not going to be catching Sancho. I can't, we can't let them score. Can't be letting them score right before the break. Well done. We could maybe have a sec. Oh no. Didn't catch the time, but I thought we maybe had a chance to go forward and make it 2 1 right before half time, but didn't get it. West Ham drawing 1 1 with Newcastle, 75th minute. I don't know if that game has any importance to us. I don't know if it helps us in any way if Newcastle lose or if West Ham lose, I don't know. But, second half at Ellen Road, we're under a lot of pressure. Stuff like that, we can't be letting happen. Ronaldo probably should have gone himself there, but give it back to Sancho. Fernandez, can't be letting Ronaldo in. Clear that for God's sake. How has he scored that? Oh my god, how have we not cleared that as well? Of all people. He should have scored that, to be fair, but... What is that? Ailing. How have you not won that header? Jesus. So, not even five minutes in the second half. It's 2-1 Man United. We're already under the cosh, severely. Fred is just playing like fucking... Prime Zidane in the midfield. Oh, fuck. 
Great save. I mean, what is the crack of that? What am I supposed to do against that? Mesri with an unbelievable save, and then it's just... Bam. Like, what is supposed to be done about that? That is ridiculous. They've scored, scored two goals in like fucking six minutes. Not even that, like four minutes. Fred, get away from me, you're shit. Oh, what is that over the... That's an over-the-top ball, supposed to be. Can't even do one of them right. But then they go and do something like that. Jesus Christ, where is the fucking logic in this game? What? I didn't think I even touched him, I thought I missed him. Did I hit him? I didn't even think I got him, I thought I was miles away from him. Hold on a minute. Did I get I genuinely didn't think I was going to get him. That's not a penalty, I've slid in to make a block and then he's tripped over me. Get fucked. No way is that a pain. Yes! Kept in it. I'm gonna have to play about Adams. We need some kind of. some kind of. bit of pace up front. Adams still got a log, but he's got a net. Jesus, Messi, a good save again. Oh, I actually despise Bruno Fernandes in this game so much. Oh my god, just get in front of him and block it. It's not letting him go corners, man. Ridiculous amount of corners already in this first, in this second half, sorry. Oh my god, how is he just head? How is he. Like. Oh, here we go. What is happening? How is Eric Bai getting through by defence and hitting the bar? Skip it. Oh, shit. That was a close one. Alright, we need that. Adams, brilliant ball. Okay, how are you sick of that? Oh my god, we're the unluckiest team in the world. I'm never being big fucking slob head that, are we? Oh my god, what? This is ridiculous. This is an absolute travesty. I can't believe this. Now look at that, we block it again and it's just straight through them. Behave yourself. How is that just falling? I swear to God, I think I'm a penalty off. Lose it. You do not have the pace for Don James. Behave yourself. Behave yourself as a long I got that pace. No chance. Oh, of course, Ronaldo. Another save! My God! We need something on this pitch, man. Come on. Ronaldo's at six. I just said Cavani was on. Beautiful. Oh, my God, go. Fred doesn't have this kind of pace. Where is the logic in this game? How does every player have the same pace as Dan James? I swear he has, like, 90-plus pace. Elanga certainly doesn't have it. Fred, no chance has he got that. Oh, fuck. How is that not a penalty? Oh my god, we can't get anywhere away from the fucking box. That's a goal, isn't it? This is ridiculous. And we've got to play Tottenham after this. We're going to get absolutely slapped. Elanga's injured. Good. Hope he gets crippled. Right, we've won a goal kick. Just skip everything. Come on, we need that pitch. It's a good ball, but why is it fucking so far forward? I actually despise Man United so much. This is so annoying. Oh my god, we can't get a pass! Everything just falls straight to them! What are you doing? Stop passing it to somebody who's surrounded by fucking players! It has to be offside. How is he onside? Who the f- Who is keeping him onside? 
Chirpo, what are you doing there? Jesus, where's the fucking... Like, the AI have no brain cells in this game. Fucking so stupid. Oh my god, behave yourself. Where are you... This is a fucking disgrace. Well, I'm not even playing the rest of this fucking game. What is the point? What is the actual point of doing something like that? The game just fucks you over constantly. Every pass intercepted. Fucking... Just a, absolutely ridiculous. Every fucking loose ball just falls to their feet perfectly. They hit the bar about 35 fucking times that just bounced right back to one of their players so they can fucking score it. Like, what's the point of me doing that? What's the actual point? Fucking, of course, Laurent is suspended. I'm so pissed off. I am so fucking annoyed. I don't even know what kind of change to make. I don't even think I've changed needs done. The team's decent. It's just stupid shit like that. Who's my captain? Phillips. What's it say? It's giving me a suggestion for the Spurs game. Liam Cooper. Do I even have Liam Cooper anymore? Didn't, didn't I sell him? Did I? Oh no, he's in there. But why would you suggest him? He hasn't played in fucking ages and he's in the reserves. No, I'll just bring him on for this one game against Tottenham, which is fucking crucial and hope that he does well. Fucking stupid this game, man. Another home game, which we need to get points in. Because oh, I hate playing Man United. We played, we beat them in the first game of the season. Did so well, and then, and then all of a sudden they've just become the most outrageous team in the world. Right, I think we just need to calm the play down a bit. That's what we need to do. We need to just slow down a little bit and not rush things and just keep the ball. If we can actually get near the fucking line. These two stop passing it themselves in the midfield like dicks. I'm sure we beat Tottenham. Of course. Good spot for a throw in though. Pena up to Phillips. And I'm out here. Gallery dude! Jesus! Oh hi! Who's up? Where should we go? Oh, what has just happened? So far, so good against Tottenham. If I leave this guy running, he's just going to, yep, through ball, either that or over the top. It was going to be one of the two. Kulosevsky. It's our ball. Well done. Whoa. Ailing bursting forward. Can't find anything. Romero just cleans him out. And look at the fucking run. Look at the space you're leaving them. Oh, oh my god, get that away. Go. Right. It's just nobody. Nobody up front waiting for that. Right. Cool it down. Calm it. Calm it. Calm it, leads by. This is going to get fired at the zone. Yep. He's going to play a 1 2, he's going to get a through ball or an over the top. There it is. Good from Rafinha, I think that was. Used to do a bit more though. 
Defence wise, what is going on? How is he just fucking standing three and tapping that in? Another shit goal conceded. Jesus Christ. That's absolutely just so easy, man. Like, it's just too easy for the AI. Like, I can't do. I'm doing so many tackles and then just. I'll just pass it out and just turn and blast it in there. Why is nobody so like close enough to him to stop the shot? Nine, why have they not got Harry Kane on? Where is he? Where are my attackers, man? Oh, this is just. Look, they've got all their players back, and I can't even get somebody to attack. Oh my god, this is actually so annoying. Ugh. Look at the passes, man! Every Look how quickly they get attacking! Like, my team were just standing still watching me. Oh, fuck off, son. I hate this. I hate this so much. Tackle you. Right, get going forward. I swear to God, if he doesn't make that. Polino needs somebody to help him here. It's just, oh my God, the only pass on is just marked by about three or four different players. Watch that, look, pass here. Yeah. One, twos, the fucking days. I'm sure we beat Tottenham before. So why can't we do it again? And we were, we were the away team last time as well. Fucking hell, ref. Get him sent off. Oh my god, how was he saving that? Oh my god, the luckiness of the AI's defense. If I did that, I would have been taco goal. That quickly. Look at that, man. How am I supposed to defend against shit like that? The ball bounces him and he just lasers it at first time straight to somebody who's wide open. What are you doing in a penalty? Go. Go, Rodrigo. Oh my god, how is Ben Davies so fast? When he's shite in real life, he doesn't even play. Oh my days. How does he get that kind of pace? How? This game makes no fucking sense whatsoever. This game doesn't make any sense. I just remembered as well what I said about... About, uh About Rafinha. I'm sure I said if I didn't get European football, we were going to sell him. I do not want to sell him. Oh, he's my only good player. Two watching, how's it going guys? 1-0 down against Tottenham. I've just been wiped out. Jesus, man. get go a fucking say it and make a decision. See what I mean? Just not trailing me. I can't get back. Everybody's just surrounded. Oh my god, how in the name of god? That was literally my only option there, just to have a shot. <laughs> it's actually laughable how fucking overpowered everything is against me. That's a heavy touch, wait for it, oh no, no. It's the fucking one twos. I kinda got a tackle in there. And look at that! I know bother, fucking hell there. Oh my god, how is <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Everybody's just quicker. It's impossible. 
Jeez, oh, I am gonna lose the head with this game. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on! I can't do anything, and nothing goes past anybody. I can't get a pass because it just gets intercepted every single time. Ah, itchy nose. Look at the amount of players they have back on Eddie, man. They've got to put borderline their whole team back. I can't make a pass. Oh, brilliant. Oh, oh you have got to be joking! How the fuck am I so... I just can't score! Oh, fucking... This is ridiculous, like, this is so stupid! Change the fucking the right player, come on! Brilliant from you! Stop running away from the ball! Get a move on this there, stop holding on to it like a poof. Come on. No, st why did they do that? Rafinha was like a, a sprinting to make a run. And then as soon as I hold L1 triangle to make the ball, he just stops. Like, what is the point of that? How am I supposed to get any passes through and my teammates do that? Get up, man. Why am I the one falling to the ground there? Fucking hell, this is so infuriating. Oh, of course, Harry Kane's on the bench, now he's just come on. I hate that as well. When the AI just stands still and it's... That was a red card! Are you serious? This game is seriously... Oh, of course, straight to one of their players. What a surprise. Of course he's outpaced and outmuscled by fucking setting him, he's about 12. This is outrageous, like, I actually cannot believe the amount of AIDS I've had in this game. This is so ridiculous. Where is Don James? Why is he in the middle of the park? You're a fucking right midfielder. What is wrong with you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. I honestly can't believe this. It's just so ridiculous. Get running, my Jesus. Please be onside. Oh my god, he's onside. Oh my god, how the fuck have you not scored? Oh my god, that was a fucking only opportunity we're gonna have at the end of this game. And you can't even score a fucking simple one on one. Just literally just tap it and you're fucking scored. But no, God forbid that. Look at the passes, man. Oh, absolute fucking joke of a game. Absolute piss take of a match. Absolute joke of a match, that. That was even worse than the Man United game. That was an absolutely disgusting game. That was fucking shocking. Shut up, Dan James, you little prick. Shut up. Furple's injured. Fucking not injured. Suspended again. I've got less. Oh, we're gonna get absolutely fucking dogged again, aren't we? I'm gonna get absolutely hammed. Oh, fucking purple. I hate the fact that you have to come out and do it on this menu. It's so annoying. At least we're in his back. Get him on the fucking Godfrey on the bench. It's so stupid that you have to come out of that and do that. I'm digging Paulinho. I'm actually gonna put the click back on because we ever since we put click out of the team we've been doing shite. 
Start Don James over. No, oh, just come out the fucking thing. I got to go. It's fine though. It's all right. I'm not raging or anything. Fucking infuriating. Right, King Power Stadium. We have to get a win. We need a win. I really don't want to have to sell Rafinha. Well done, chocolate. Right, just calm it down a bit. Down to call. Jesus Christ, man. He's about five foot nine. Leave him alone. He's a pretty young boy. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh no, wrong player. Look at the state of that man, look at that ball. Oh my god, please keep that in for the love of shit. Look at him, he's just surrounded immediately by players. Oh, of course he gets a little toe to that. Fucking get him on his arse. Good touch. Not enough to actually tackle him though. Of course. Look at the state of that. Is he offside? I was going to say, man. He's just falling to him. I can't get over how lucky the AI has been in those last two games. Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. This is so annoying. <laughs> Good talk, are you? I, I, has he just put... I caught the ball, man! How can you possibly give us a ball when I'm swung around and taking the ball from his feet? I swear to fuck, if they score this 20 cents, I'm going to be fuming. He's got to score this as well, hasn't he? He's all just standing. What the hell was that? Okay, well done. Come on, James. Fucking smallest player on the park. Why am I crossing it to him? Oh! Fucking hell, we're getting so unlucky. Or are we? Oh, for Christ. Yes, of course we are. God forbid we get something to actually work out for us. See what I mean? I can't get near the fucking ball before they just charge in and wipe it away from me. It's <laughs> a great ball. Look at the pace. Who is that? James Justin. Oh no, he's offside. <laughs> Man, this game is so annoying! Where are you even going? What an interception that is from you. There's just nobody... That's a great ball. Don James! Yes! The sm Possibly the smallest. I don't know if Shaq got installed on him. But... Oh, one of the smallest men in the park wins a header in the box. Look at the height of the three of them. <laughs> and what shit house that is. 
Oh my god, a bit of luck for us, finally. It's a great ball from, I think, Rodrigo. No, it's not Rodrigo, it must be Rafinha. And Darren James, a brilliant header. Away from, is that Castagna? I'm not sure. This fourth goal of the season. In the Premier League, anyway. Finally. Possibly a bit of justice for the last two games. If we can take a 2-0, I'll be happy. One-touch passes. And look at Rafinha. This one-touch passing could have just worked out perfectly. No, it hasn't. What a surprise. So I couldn't get it on his left quick enough. Justin under a lot of pressure off from Luke Bailey. Yeah, we need to get back in position now. Get run in, boy. Doesn't matter, that's our way. Oh, Leicester maybe feeling the pressure now. Potentially great ball? Is that our ball? Oh, I thought he handed it. Probably a referee that's been paid off. There's no way that was a handball. We were in through on goal. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh, of course, it's a handball again. The benefit of Leicester. It's got to be a booking for that, surely. Has to be there, come on. Great, right? It's not the clearance I was hoping for, but it'll do. That'll send us into the second half of our lead. Leeds fans, maybe a bit of a bit of hope that we could be in any European club. I'll take conference league. That counts as Europe, like. I don't care if it's not Europa League. If we if we get Conference League, I will take it. I'll take it any day of the week. If we get qualifiers, so then it all goes down to if we qualify, if Rafinha leaves. That's what it'll come down to. I don't even know if you can get qualifiers. Though. I've never finished like mid table in the Premier League, <laughs> so I don't know. Or not mid table, like sort of six, seven. So I don't know how it works. So. Gelder, a good touch, but just far on it. I'll just hold them off. Oh, look at that mistake! Why did I do that? My God, how? Have... Oh my God, how? You have got to be joking me. Got away with absolute murder there. Blocked again. The interceptions or blocks, whatever, that the AI has been making the last few games is outrageous. And James fire there to Ravinia. Yeah, in and his right. Three goes there. Come out! Oh! <laughs> Why is time finishing on? Turn it off every time. Time finishing. I turn it off in the main menu because I hate it. Oh, can I steal him? I guarantee you he scores an absolute, like, outside the box world in this game. I guarantee it. Any money, he, he does that. Could be a great ball. Nope, of course it's not. Uh oh. Click! Oh my god, Clash! Or Click, however. 2 0 on his return to the first team. I haven't been using him after signing Paulinho because I thought he was finished. But he makes it to Leeds fans loving it. Leicester fans, not so much. Some good passing there. The 
brilliant layoff from it on his left first time. Low power, low driven shot works a treat. And it's 2 0 at the King Power. Could our fortunes be turning? Our fortunes? Have I, have I said that right? Probably not. But could our luck be having a change for the better? Jamie Shock and dedication to win that ball back is phenomenal from you, sir. Fino, are you going to make that? No, but. Oh, oh what an equaliser. Can we get up? Can we hold on though? That's the question. They play Dortmund next in the Conference League, I think they're in. Or did they drop to the Conference League? Did they start off in Europa League actually? I think they did. It's a handball. My god, referee! Can we go, can we go forward and make it a three? Without getting molested by a fucking defender. Jesus Christ, he just went through the side there. Brilliant. Bit of defending from Loretti. On his return as well, after being suspended. Uh oh. Oh, Brighton, is he away from Sharko then? He could be. The nerves are seriously kicking in. Any win is crucial at this point now after dropping points in the last like three or four games. Two games, the last two home games we've lost. And the game against Man United, uh, Villa we lost away from home. Who else did we play? Who else beat us? Oh no, it was FA Cup, wasn't it? And we beat Everett in the Newcastle. Brilliant clearance from whoever that was. It's got to be a red, surely! It's got to be a handball. Shocking. There's the over the top that happens every game. Oh shit. Fucking Jamie Shark on absolute class performance from you today. Oh wrong player. That was me, I just got a click, but doesn't matter. Oh he nearly got the head there as well. John James in a very tight space. Aileen tried to curl it with the left. Put Armin on him for the last few seconds. Che Adams not had the impact on this team I thought he would have. I may have spoke too soon. Adams, oh, that's a bit handball ref, surely. Same with Almond on Villas, I thought the two of them would be class for me, but they've just been alright. But a 2 0 win, clean sheet away from home, massive, massive three points. And that is what you love to see. Daniel James and Click, who has just been put back in the team. 16 shots to their three. Norwich, who lost, who we were playing next. That's what you. Oh, that's just what's needed for us. We're sixth, though. Two points ahead of Man United still, even though we've, they beat us in the league. And we're, how many points behind Chelsea? No, we're down to seventh now. With a, the Chelsea and Arsenal both got a game in hand though. But if Man United were to lose and we were to win this game, we'd be, what, five points ahead of us? Which at this point in the, state, it's this point in the season, that is what you want. We're going to put them back in the theme. Click, starting again. Same for, I think I'm Polino on the left actually. Let's try that, let's see how he gets on there. Uh, and Shark on us. No, sorry. Um, let's put Stuart on the reserves. Put Firp on the bench. Start Shark and see how he gets on. If we can keep him our clean sheet, we'll maybe keep him on. But Ellen Road against Norwich. A huge three points needed here. 
if we have any hopes of sitting in this. I think we're in the Europa League spot, are we? Or is it just the one team? Do we go into qualifiers? I don't know. Right. Norwich can't be annoying to play against. I played against them a lot in FIFA. It's like Kane, man. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I'm lucky early on, two, three minutes in. Looking for a fast start. What an effort that was from Matthias Klisch. I don't know how to pronounce his name, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh fuck, now he's giving away the ball. This is an absolute must win for Leeds United. Oh, that's beautiful, the defence sliding too early. Joe Gerhardt could get away from the defence. Blasts it past the keeper. Makes it 1-0. The future star striker of Leeds United. Our future possible number 9. Do we have a number? No, we don't have a number 9. It's like if Che Adams number 11. So, could be a number 9 for Joe Gerhardt next season. Number 9, 6 and, six and 20s. Alright, for somebody of that age. It is what we'll call a breakthrough season. But if we end up not getting Europe and having to sell Rafinha, we are going to get at least like probably 50, 60 million from him, maybe even more. And the, the t talent we can bring in with that is just going to be outrageous. Paulinho, look at that. Look who's through again. Joe Gellhart. For two! Oh, it's a good save. Strong hand from Tim Crow. Rafinha whipping that one in, it's too close to the keeper. A poor, poor, poor cross. But already Norwich look like they're struggling. One player I want to look out for us up. I was going to say that to Zola Sky or whatever. How the hell has Brandon Williams just scored that? He's just absolutely silenced down the road. Look at that passing, man. That's just retarded. That is near post as well. Mesley, that should not be happy after the performance you had against Tottenham, or I think it was Tottenham. You should not be conceding that, man. I would say undeserved. It was like that was their first effort. It was our first shot on target, and I do not think it should be a goal. But, that's FIFA. You can't really. Okay, oh, hello! Oh, nearly making it 2 1 straight away. Quick, wins it brilliantly. Rodrigo. Rodrigo again! Oh my god! Gellhart's there! Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, he's offside. I would say 100% we are the better team so far. Look at that, Jesus Christ. Well done, my shark on the. Fire out to Rafinha. Oh my god, what just happened? Kill her! Oh my god! What happened? What's going on? Oh, is that a penalty? It's a penalty! Bottom left, please. Fucking get in there, Rafinha! A well deserved second goal. What's he doing? <laughs> He's just squealing off. 
against Rodrigo. It's like Will Smith to quiz to Chris Rock. Great penalty. And the Brazilian. And the half an hour mark. 2 1. The Leeds United. A very, very well deserved goal, I would say. I don't think we deserve anything less than three points in this game already, just by the way we've been playing. I know it's against Norwich, but come on. Credit where credit's due. Oh, fuck. Wow. Near post again, nearly scoring. That is, that is unacceptable. I fucking hate when the AI do that. When they stand still, and then when you go near them, they just like, chip it around you. But look at the space for Geldhout. Look at the space. Not a lot of stamina left, but... <laughs> it's another penalty! Come back, I guess, it's this time. And where do we go this time? Do we go left again, or...? If we go... It's a penalty, I have to say, but... Ah, uh, he didn't move last time, so I don't... I'm going to go down the middle again. Let's just hope that he proves that he moves this time. But he does! Two goals for Rafinha, two penalties. And it's 3-1, eight minutes after the first run. I was going to go top right, but then I thought, nah, he's probably going to go that way. But if he stayed in the middle last time, he might as well go middle. Norwich sloppily giving away two penalties. And Rafinha... Gets two has two goals for himself today. Who's got the first one? Gellhart. Yeah, Gellhart. And the the change of midfield seems to have worked a treat. Got Rodrigo go. Never mind. He's gonna get played for a through ball. Brandon Williams is gonna what what the hell just happened there? One of them's gonna take a heavy touch in the Oh, Rodrigo got injured. Jesus, the one touch passing from Norris is a fucking prime Barcelona, man. If that had swung in, I would be so raging. Molino, oh, I thought Gerhardt was making a run because he went to make the run and then decided to just stand still. Gotta be blowing your whistle, ref. You have to be blowing your whistle there, man. Oh, my days. Thank you. Rodrigo's going to have to come off just because I don't want him to get properly injured. I want him to kind of... It seems to be a wee knock because he kept going. Oh, he's fine. Hmm. Okay. We'll leave him on. So far, so good. 3-1 out of time. Two penalties, like, but... Oh, well, you wouldn't say no to that any time. My worry now is that Rodrigo might get another knock and then might get properly injured for like three, four months. And all this, considering we're in the last three, four months of the season, I kind of need him. But he seems alright. It's not like hobbling or anything. Fucking hell, ref. He plays it over for Paulinho. That could, be a, that could be a shout for a new full back for us for next season. Not the tackle, I want to the tackle, not clearance. Oh my god, Lorenzo's just been taken out by his own player. Brilliant. From my think Phillips, I didn't pay attention to who tackled him there. It'll be a handball ref again. I'll be letting these slide. Keep playing! Oh my days. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck is going What the fucking go? Oh my god! I said that, I did not think it was going to go in, but fuck me, what a goal! Jesus! Fuck! What a finish! Two goals in two games for the highest click. 
I'll let you spend the second half as well, what are we? Well, their player's got a uh, yellow card, so that's... Jesus, what a hit! 59 minutes in. Probably a couple of minutes ago. I forgot they've got Billy Gilmore. Wait, have they just brought him on or has he just come off? I think he's just come off for, for Kenny McLean. Five one. Rodrigo blasted it into the top corner, and that is the turnaround and fix and results that you'll love to see. Yeah, I couldn't want anybody get the shot away. Just taps it to Rodrigo and blast it. In. Still time for more, but it's five one to Leeds United. And this is the result that was so, so needed. And it could be crucial in the, se in the se terms of a goal difference if other teams start to pick up points. Good tackle from Marenti. Stick Kay Adams on. Gellhart's a bit tired. Yeah, Adams could just burst forward and score himself a goal. He won't though, because Mark Adams has got a stupid amount of stamina left. Rodrigo! Oh, he does make it 6! 6 1. Norwich absolutely decimated here at Ellen Road. It's a pass from Che Adams right through the middle to him. Rodrigo is going to come off though for Almiron because he's a bit tired and I want to rest him. Tim Cool, unable to do anything about it. I think he was on a hat trick, wasn't he? I don't know if he scored two or if he got, if he got the hat trick. What a game this has turned out to be. Oh shit, where's Ewing going? Good defending. Keeper's ball. Need to be... Couldn't we can save it? I was going to say, we need to be switched on defensively. And what a ball that is from Vigna. I tried to take it on his right foot and just finesse it, but... Unable to, Tim Crow came out too fast. Still got enough time to make it seven though. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I am going to acknowledge what has just been said in the chat, but I would appreciate it not to say daddy because I think that's kind of weird. But it's on ultimate difficulty. And there we go. The one player I said early on that is always unable to play against Fernandes has scored. I don't think he started this game, but there we go. 6 2. Paulinho going to come off for Dan James. Uh, it's on ultimate difficulties, but yeah, please don't say daddy. It's just kind of weird. <laughs> Puppy chill. <laughs> Fucking Sebastian Stan in the job. Adams, and oh, it's seven. Oh, it's just too easy. Jay Adams flaunted it in front of the fucking fans. <laughs> it's a great ball from, I think it was Matthias Click. A great ball from him. First timer into the bottom corner. Seven two. Probably our is this our highest scoring game of the season? Is it? I don't know. I can't remember. But 
absolute domination performance by Ellen Road. Sergeant nearly scoring. Mark McKenzie. <laughs> Oh, my own. Click in the middle. Good talk of him, Pookie, though. And it ends lead seven, Norwich to all our performance. Delighted with that. The mood after, after the last two games has just gone from rock bottom to up here. Delighted with that. 50 50 position. 16 shots, 7 goals. Delighted with that. Delighted with that. How many games that we played now? Is that four? Oh, my God. Developed to what its potential is going to be this season. Yeah, two games, two losses, two wins. We beat Leicester, of course, 2 0. Forgot about that. Then we play Wolves next, and then we're into an international break, I believe. Uh, I think we're into an international I'm assuming that's an international break, and then we play Southampton at home. So, uh, let's skip forward, see if we get any offers for in here. Oh, Clark, you're 100% you'll be playing. You've been playing with class. What did that just say? Doesn't matter. I wasn't sure what uh, good international jobs that said, but an unbelievable win. I'm going to have a quick look at... What's our biggest? Is that our biggest win? Yeah. Biggest heats 5 2 against Liverpool in December, and then we come to March 22 and we beat Norwich 7 2. Record transfer fee 32 and a half million. Who did we pay for? What? Did we, what? Who did we buy for 32 and a half million? I. I what? Who did we buy for that amount of money? Oh, was it Godfrey, maybe? Could have been Godfrey. It could be. Probably is. But, we are sitting in fifth now. Oof. Granted, Chelsea have two games in hand of us, we're only a point ahead of them. Arsenal have one game in hand, so they could go a point ahead of us. But, another win for us would be crucial. We would be a point behind fourth place West Ham. So Champions League football is on. It could happen. Chelsea and Arsenal both need to drop points and we need to beat Wolves if we have any chance of it. We've got to have 50 points, a point behind West Ham. Let's have a quick look at the table because we haven't done that in a while. City and Liverpool flying ahead. Uh, I think nine points clear of Aston Villa. Not a lot to be fair, but Liverpool do have two games in hand on City, so probably going to go in front of that, in front of them. Down the bottom, Norwich dead last. Southampton are in the bottom three, and Brentford, Newcastle just above it by three points, and then five points ahead of that is Brighton. So I think that to that bottom four are most likely the four that are going to be fighting for relegation, and nobody else is going to go lower than that. Man United in ninth, Tottenham in tenth, and they beat us. But we're in fifth, fifteen, fifteen wins, two draws, and twelve losses. So. <laughs> not very good but better than what was expected from this season we scored 64 conceded 51 eh could be a lot better for where we are in the league it's sort of bad on average compared to I mean it's all it's, it's all very similar up until you get to Liverpool and Man City who are just ridiculous but oh shit I didn't mean to do that but our next game against Wolves who are in 12th it has to be it has to be a win doesn't it it has to be. We're going to play it actually. We're going to play it now rather than just end it after four games. We're going to do five games and see what happens because this I, I, I would just, I would say this is a must winner. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to put let's put Don James on. Oh, go away, I'm not, why not? I'm going to have to put the click on again. He's been fucking unbelievable. He's been stopped doing that. Why does that keep happening? Uh, Firpo on the bench Shackleton's been good you know what he's actually been really well he's been doing so well we're going to keep, keep it like that we're going to keep it like that and then oh, a massive three points this. it's a huge game because we touching distance of Champions League football 
which shouldn't have happened. We shouldn't be anywhere near that in this first season, but my God, what a story that would be. No hope in hell we'd get anywhere further than the group stage, like, but the who we got. But. But being a point away from Champions League spot in the Premier League in our first season under Leeds United, that would be phenomenal. I'll take that, that's our ball. Dan Shockland. Our Wolves always play with five at the back, so this is going to be tough. Oh my god. This is going to be difficult. Wolves are a difficult team to play against. They've got a lot of base going forward. And defensively, they're fairly solid. You know what? At least I would say so anyway. And in the midfield, of course, like Ruben Neves. I, well, I don't even know if he's still there, but he's not playing. But even Moutinho. I, can't, I have to concentrate like fuck here. It's showing us in the league. Rodrigo. Gellar, I'm needing you to make that run. Doesn't matter, Don James is. <laughs> Straight at the keeper, testing him early, like, but. It's not gonna matter. We need to be switched on in this game. I cannot afford to be conceding stupid goals or anything defensively. Defensively, I'm not even gonna try and run with the ball on the defence, I'm just gonna get it clear. If it's a dodgy situation, the ball is getting cleared, there's no way I'm going to try and dribble that away. Just be safe about it. Or be smart about it, sorry. It's got to be your ball. Get him fucking off, ref. Dirty fucking. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh, a bit more power on that. That was perfect for Gellhart. Connor Cody starting really bully. Samedo, look at that. Connor Cody, Willie Bowley, and Max Kelman, I think, in the centre box. Semedo is the right fullback. I don't know who the other one is. It's probably Johnny. He usually starts as their left back. Oh shit. But I could be wrong, but Dan James, has he got the pace from Semedo? Look at Rodrigo. He's in, it's 1-0. And what a start. Rodrigo on the score sheet once again. The left foot blasted past Jose Sa. It's a good pass from Don James and Gellhart waiting for Rodrigo to make that run and he just takes it to the to the right side of, of Sa and then blasts it across him. And it's 1-0, 12 and 29 for Rodrigo. I think we've only got, after this we'll only have about two streams left and that's the end of the season. So, anybody who's been watching this, it's got to be a bit exciting, truly. It's got to be some sort of excitement for that. Could be a, a second season already. I know it's, I'm only just getting back to doing kind of streams and that, but I've had some positive feedback from the comments and that, which I'm delighted to see. So, it must be, it must be the exciting, right? <laughs> oh shit. Not defending anyway. Away. Oh, well done. Well done, you. Rafinha. Waiting for Gelhart to make that run. And he is making it. Oh, and that's a great ball. Joe Gelhart. would be brought. That's got to be a red. How is that not even a booking? He was through on goal, ref. I'm having a shot here, huh? That has got to be a yellow or red card at least. Joe Gellhart was clear to go through a goal and he was brought down. How is that not a... at least a booking? Uh oh. Poor passing from Gellhart. Could have just given Wolves the opportunity that they needed to go forward. How will he bully survive that? I have no idea. Oh, 
Oh, not really a lot of space for anything to have a shot there. But click mate. Oh, bastard. Who's winning that header? Rigo! <laughs> this is a positive, positive start from us. That's not a good sign. That's a poor touch. Jesus! A dodgy <laughs> pass back to their keeper. I don't know who their starting left back is actually. Still haven't seen him. I'm going to add it on at half time for the second half even. And we go into it 1 0 up through a goal from Rodrigo. Still don't know who their starting left back is like, but no changes for us straight into the second half. I knew me. That's the starting left back. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but Pedro Neto on. I'm sure the last time we played against Wolves, he actually scored. He came off the bench and scored. So, I have to keep an eye on him. Bit of a high foot from Rodrigo there, but. Already, net all causing me serious problems. Oh my god, my own players getting just tangled up in their cells, but Phillips recovers brilliantly. Finha looking for Rodrigo, but it's a good interception. We still got it though. Rodrigo! Oh, he skied it. Kept that on the ground and he could have put it low into the bottom left corner. Could have done, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. Oh, it's brilliant from Galthart. He just needs somebody. That's not what he needed. Good defending, though. Shackleton. Good ball, bully. Wins the header though. Rafinha. Gellar. Oh. Close. Not many options being given. Gellar. Oh, a good hand from Saar. Wolves just. Knocking it about right on the goal line. I don't know what's just happened there. The concentration on me is right now is just ridiculous. I'm trying so hard not to concede. I want to. I want to get a second goal just to be comfortable. Well, that's not what you want to see. Oh, look at Dan James, that's a perfect ball. What is that touch? Dan, what was that touch, man? Oh, how are you catching that? That was a rocket of a shot from Ravinia. It's got to go out. Yes. Get his possession back. Very easy. There's a bit of a glitch with that fixture. It keeps saying that your next game is the one that you're currently playing. Nice, man. You're a dirty old who are booked. We'll go for it again. What? What just happened? I just held down the right stick and it started, doing, started putting power on it. I did not know you could do that. 
must be a handball in, in there somewhere. Uh. Brilliant from Calvin Phillips. Fucking hell. Well, they bullied dedication to get that ball. They're going to score in like the 84th minute or something, isn't they? I guarantee it. I can almost guarantee a late goal on Moles' behalf is coming. Look at Dan James. Miles of space. There you go. You need somebody to make a run forward. Good ball out to Shackleton. Look at Gellhart in the middle. Can't get ahead of, ahead of Cody. Why is he not sprinting? Why is he just like jogging? Oh no. Oh no. That's not fair, man. As soon as I go in for a slide, he just stops and puts the ball behind him so I don't get it. Oh, he's going to shoot and score, isn't he? Somebody is going to score a late goal, I can guarantee it. So nervous right now. Just get that away. Get it up. Get it up. Go on, ref. Blow your whistle. Blow it. Please. Yes. Oh, thank God. A 1 0 win. Oh, my. the emotions. <laughs> Intensity. Oh, it was just. Oh. Didn't like it. Marquinhos or Kunde 87. Marquinhos. Marquinhos. Marquinhos is class. He's actually solid. The Australian FA want me as a manager. Dave Bates. Nah. It's got to be fucking nah. Doesn't. Doesn't attract me. The Australian job. Great performance from Cliff again. Three games he's played on the bounce and he's been class. A point. Right. With West Ham have a game in hand. Fair enough. Chelsea have three. Arsenal have two games in hand. Irrelevant. We are in fifth, possibly about to change after this two-week break. Oh, didn't change very much. Chelsea still have a game at hand, and we're a point equal. Ooh, level on points with Villa and West Ham. Eh, level on games, sorry. Four points behind both of them. <sighs> Do we have to play any of them? My defence tell is Marquinhos, Kimpembe and Atal 85, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. don't know who, who Atal is, like, I personally go for like, I don't know, Kyle Walker or something. <laughs> I don't play all on the team at all, so. I, I don't know if it's all on the team you're talking about. Is it all on my team? We don't get to play Villa or West Ham, though, but we do play... Leaders, Man City and Chelsea. But that's all happening in the next stream. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you have done, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.